What's going on guys, it's Kuli here and welcome back to a new video on the channel. So today we'll be reviewing Moments Alexis McAllister. He just came out with the 94 rated TM and I must admit he's looking very very good. I saw a leaked card of this guy and the defending start I'll be honest wasn't looking this good but looking at him bro, he's looking crazy. But yeah, looking at him, he's 5'9", has high medium more crazy, he's right footed, has 5 star skill moves and a 4 star with 5 star skill moves on this guy, especially with his body type, how small he is in game, should be very very nice. In my opinion, this is like a better, this should not be, this should because I'm not using yet be a better player like a better version of folding because folding is really good at 94 rated showdown card but he doesn't have five task moves so this should be a better version of him and yeah high attacking work rate expected on your attacking player because this guy mostly should be like a cam not a cm i wouldn't advise playing like him like a cm just because of his height then yeah i can only play in the cm and cam position so just to he's from um live he's from argentina and plays for liverpool so the links already are crazy there shouldn't be a problem in linking this guy so yeah that's something i like looking at his stats he's got 90 pace 92 shooting 95 passing 93 dribbling 86 defending and 88 physicals i'll be honest this guy is looking crazy crazily well rounded bro like he's looking really good the pace acceleration is maxed out sprint speed I believe he's 96. I've decided to go for the Hunter just to full send the pace and also to boost the shooting stats. The shooting stats are also looking ridiculous. 95 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 95 shot power. Bro, look at the shooting stat, looking crazy. Passing also looking crazy as well. Dribbling nice, everything nice. Also the strength, 18 strength on this kind of player should be very nice to work with. Also the stamina being 95, I believe he's 95. Yeah, 95 should also be nice. He's got the long shot taker and the playmaker trait. So just two traits is um kind of not good that he doesn't have like the outside future trait or the finish it, but it won't stop us from going for like long shots and stuff just to test it out. And he also has, if you notice why I went for the other chemistry style, because normally I'll go for like an engine or something just because i want him to have the outside foot shots like the dipping effect but i already saw that shot power is 91 so he can't have it so i just full sent the hunter came so this is the team i'll be playing him in um not a crazy team but i mean good team good team um modric no cam <laughs> I, I, i'm not asked about that one but yeah i guess you can still use him but yeah without further ado let's get into the games and see how good he is oh we get the ball back here lucky come on sprint into the space I'm going to take it early. Oh, didn't green that shot on purpose. Just wanted to see if he could score that from that kind of distance. And he doesn't. I'll be honest with his shooting stats. I've, I kind of expect him to do better, bro. I'll be honest. Maybe I'm acting too much. But honestly, I expect better. Like, you know, work the keeper more. That was an easy save. Let's try and go for a finesse here with him. Let's call a player shot and give it back. Oh, he's marking closely. Finesse? No, and it's very, very low. Bro, I must admit, his long shot aren't looking too good so far, bro. But he will try and go for more. We'll try and go for more. Nice. Step over straight. Nice. What a tour. Ooh, should be finishing that again. I'll be honest, if he doesn't finish that, then <laughs> there's a big problem. So, yeah, nothing much. Second goal in our first game, and yeah, so far, so good. Oh, I was. I mean, he actually feels nice. He doesn't feel bad, especially with the five star skill moves. I'm doing too much, bro. I'm doing too. Ah, and he missed that on his left foot. Ah, no, bro, no, bro. He should be scoring that, bro. He should be scoring that. There was no pressure on him, and he missed that chance. Nah, he should be scoring that all day. But yeah, he feels nice on the ball, enjoying his five star skill moves. McAllister. Oh, unlucky. Do we get the ball back? Yes, we do. Let's go for an outside foot. Oh, and it's a very, very nice outside foot shot. Bar and in. Yeah, that's a very, very nice outside foot shot goal. I'll be honest, it actually looks like he actually has, has the animation, even though his shot power is way above 90. Carlista, open up. Just using his R1 dribbling. Oh, look at the pace. Nice. I will lie, it actually feels very fast on the ball. The pace to get in behind all those players, but I'll be honest, yeah, the play our opponent is not the best. He's not the best. So yeah, I just hope we find someone better, a little bit better, so we can, you know, really test out his stats. But yeah, that was a nice goal. I believe that's four goals now in his first game. <laughs> that's a crazy game to go ratio. 
McAllister, let's see if he's trying to be aggressive here. Nah, he's not being aggressive. He's just waiting for the ball to come to him. Let's go for a finesse. Ooh, that was a nice finesse goal. I saw he wasn't being aggressive there. He wasn't making a run, you know, for me to kind of give him a true ball. He was just being patient, asking for the ball to fit. And we went for the finesse shot. And that was a very, very, very good goal. Best, let's try and look for McAllister. McAllister, I've sent him on a run. Let's try and do something here. First time true ball. Oh, what a ball from Casemiro. What the heck was that? That was a poor touch from him. Oh, look at the R1 dribbling and look at the finish as well. Nice. Boris, R1 dribbling honestly feels incredible. Like the touches he takes, he doesn't take any weird touches. And yeah, I'm enjoying his dribbling so far and we get the rage quit. I believe this should be um, six goals now in two games. That is crazy, bro. He's finishing for a cam. is top tier in my opinion. Makalisa, you... Whoa, wanted to go for an outside foot shot there but didn't work out Ooh, that was silky smooth he also has the bounce as well because there are some players like for example neymar when you're dribbling with them and you kind of take like a bad touch the ball bounces off the opponent and still gets back to you that's like the you know the the tech you know he has the tech so like he comes out with like a lot of 50 50s and yeah that's something that's really nice in that camp because a lot of times you get in like your your opponent is going to tackle you a lot of times because you be like a lot of times you'll be having possession with your cam and in this example McAllister so yeah having that bounce in him you know when you're dribbling he's getting the bounces coming out with the ball yeah that should be very very nice McAllister let's try and mark back here with him oh should have got that pass I'll be honest Ah, uh, we concede yeah i told you as a small player he won't because right now i'm playing him in the midfield i said it from the start of the review as a small player i don't expect him to like be like a very good cm just because of his reach he doesn't have enough reach in that midfield to like um get interceptions and stuff and yeah that's why nice 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 he feels incredible on the ball i've said that a lot but he actually feels very good and i don't know why this guy is posting does he want to quit let's try and score so even if he quits we get the we get the win green oh falista oh he read us that was a very good read oh and we scored the second goal in style yeah he 100 percent 100 percent has the dipping effect bro the outside features animation 100 percent he has it i don't know how because apparently the um requirements to have the outside foot shot animation is to have less than 90 shot power and he has 99 shot power so i don't know how why he has the outside feature animation but i guess we'll take it bro we'll take it that was a very very nice goal to end the game and yeah to get the rage quit I'll give this to Di Maria. Don't tell me that Richie is. What a ball. Do we come out with it as well? Yes, we do. Oh, nah. Tried the Migidi cancel there to kind of get the shot away. But that was a crazy ball from McAllister. That was like inch perfect. Let's try and give this back to him. Let's try one, two. Oh, that was not meant for you. Oh, but we still get the pass. Di Maria oh what a finish that was a nice team goal i just used um i guess i used um makalisa as kind of like a decoy because i didn't actually do the one two with him but yeah as long as we get the goal and oh ref <laughs> bro his five that game will feel nice especially with the way he's like a small player i'm enjoying it really well okay so we just finished playing the game so it's moments alexis McAllister. we played seven games with him i was calling nine goals nine goals but um yeah that's very very nice cam slash cm but we didn't come out with an assist unfortunately but yeah i guess we'll see take the nine goals so 
starting things off, the first thing I want to say about this card is playing this guy in the CM position. Honestly, if you're doing this guy to put in your team, I would 100% advise you not to play him in the CM position, bro. Like 100% do not play this guy in the CM position just because of his like height, his um, strength. I know it says he has ATA strength, but I'll be honest, it doesn't feel like ATA strength in game. I won't say he didn't like hold off players. He held off a lot of players, but I'll be honest, playing this guy in the CM, bro, you're asking for trouble. With the CMs you have nowadays, we've got Barella. We've got Barella is way stronger than him, even though they have like kind of similar um, body type in game. Barella is way better. Um, we also got Milinkovic Savage in that midfield, bro. This guy against Milinkovic Savage, bro, he's no nine times out of ten. This guy is not coming out with the ball, bro. Honestly, in fact, ten times out of ten, bro. <laughs> but yeah, we've got Savage, we've got Loris, we've got Turam, we've got um Depay, bro. We've also got a lot of much more stronger midfielders in this game. With Lorente, Valverde, a lot, a lot, Goretzka, and I feel like coming up against those players because a lot of people now have good teams and using this guy in your midfield to play against those kind of teams that have good cms as well yeah it's not a good idea bro so i 100 advise you playing this guy in the cm position i will advise you to play this guy in the camp position in more of like an attacking position if you want to you can also kind of play this guy in like a right center forward position because he's got the pace he's also got the shooting as well so that'll be a nice position for him um the shooting the shooting the shooting was i wouldn't say the shooting was crazy again a lot of like strikers have better finishing for sure 100 percent but i would say his shooting was decent he was scoring a lot of chances chances in the box that he should have scored he scored them he didn't miss like obvious chances that's one thing i'll say then the attacking positioning i mean he i didn't see really see him like like uh making runs in behind like on his own he always like if I when I play him like attacking positions in the camp, he always comes like and asks like asks the youth um for the ball to feed. So he didn't really like make runs in behind. And uh, that's something I noticed. The passing, the passing was stopped here. Yeah, the passing was very, very good. Went for a lot of crazy passes and he hits them. There was one specific one that he gave to Di Maria, and yeah, that was a very nice pass. Um dribbling, dribbling was nice, especially with the five star skill moves. The R1 dribbling as well was very, very nice. I enjoyed it. The dribbling was crazy. Then the defending. The defending also was uh, i would say the defending was nice i f i feel like with this guy's height those defending stats there are just there for vibes bro because with his height he doesn't get um like the ball like a lot in that midfield also he's rich a lot of interceptions that you expect him to get because but because of his reach he doesn't get them and that's something i'm not a big fan of so the defending yeah defending wasn't nice you can also see 85 slight tackles um standing slight tackles um 82 as well yeah the defending is not the best i'll be honest for a cm you want way better defending on your um on your player also if you want to like if you actually want to play this guy in the cm like you just want to use him in the cm position then 100 percent do not go for a hunter go for a shadow chemistry style because there's no way that you can use this guy in the cm if you go for a hunter chemistry style like it doesn't just work you want to boost those defending stats so you can get like more tackles in that midfield then the physic physical as i said it is strength it didn't feel like it is strength in my opinion i'll be honest the strength didn't feel too nice but the 95 stamina here yeah, he played a long like he played like for a long time he doesn't get tired you can definitely play this guy like a full 90 minutes and you use him enjoy him he doesn't get tired in game then bro literally this guy you can't tell me oh i thought he had 99 shot power bro this guy has 95 shot power there is no way the outside foot shots this guy was scoring there's no way this is 95 shot power bro like they were going in like he had like below 90 shot power like he had 89 exactly and yeah i enjoyed his long shots his one also went for one finish shot as well and he also scored it so his long shots i must admit for a camp is top tier is up there with players in this game so i would like to compare him to a few players i would like to compare him to a few players first player i would like to compare him to is modric modric my other cm honestly in that cm position 100 percent i'm taking modric number one reason modric has better defending even though i know it says um he has 86 defending and modric has 80 oh they actually have the same defending yeah in my opinion modric has way better defending in that midfield also modric has better long shots in my opinion again from what i've used yeah modric long shot in my opinion is way better than this McAllister's card long shot then what else is there again what else is there the passing also modric is way better in passing so in the midfield modric 100 but in an attack in an attacking position like a cam 100% McAllister just because of the skill moves because Modric in my opinion the iron dribbling is better but yeah McAllister gives you that 5 star skill moves but if you're someone that doesn't use 5 star skill moves at all 100% Modric is a whole better player for you to use in your team 
then another player I like to compare him to is an SBC that came out not a long time ago. I believe like a few days ago. It's Marcos Acuna. Let me just search him up quickly. Acuna, because I actually did a review on him as well. Yep, 94 flashback Acuna. So in a CM position again, 100% this Acuna card. Why I'm comparing him to Acuna is because they have like similar body type in game. So CM position 100%. Like there's no question. 100% Acuna cause the defending the defending the physical 100% way better than McAllister's defending and physical. But in a, an attacking position, a calm, yep, yeah, McAllister wins just again just because of the finishing and the five star screen mode. So if I have to go ahead and rate this guy in the four tiers I have, world class, very good, decent, and not decent here. Honestly, I'll put this guy in the very good tier. In my opinion not on the same level as the camps or cms that we have in the world class here in fact in the cm position decent here yes cm position decent here cam position um very good here in my opinion cm position i don't read this guy bro i don't read this guy at all. i know i've said it a lot of times but it's because it's true bro don't play this guy in the cm position bro but cam yeah very good here definitely very good here yeah i won't, I won't go as far as saying this deserves to go in the world class here i won't but yeah that's it for the review guys um i mean this card costs around like 250 000 coins as an sbc i mean for that price with the links he has i don't think that's terrible i think that's like okay for him although if that was like 50k less maybe like 200k or even 150k that would have been spot on but i mean going like 250 it's not terrible in my opinion if you really want him if you have like a liverpool based team you've got um, femino you've got someone like who's from liverpool again you've got someone like um footballers diaz or you've got team of the season salah then i guess you can do him but yeah that's it for the review guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like let me know your thoughts on this card what are you guys like will do him and what you think of him if you actually do him and yeah don't forget to subscribe as well and for now peace